Hey everybody, this is my HD Tune Others, and today we're gonna be doing a review on this nifty little mirror slash DVR, which is a really interesting combination, but you're gonna find out in this review that it really works. So basically, it's a D it's a mirror that attaches to your regular mirror. I'm not sure if you can see over there, but that's my regular mirror. And all it does is attach to it. And it has a nice little camera on the back, which has infrared LED lights. So let's go inside and take a better look at it. All right, so let's take a look at the mirror slash DVR. Now this review is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be as professional as my other reviews because this is going to be a video where I talk more about the technical side of things than more professional video editing and all that. But anyways, let's take a look at the front of the mirror. So we have this big truck, trucker style huge mirror which is actually a really big bonus in my opinion because you really get that nice field of view and you get a lot of nice clarity through this mirror. I'm not sure if you can notice but this mirror is very very clear and you can see everything behind you um, better than my original mirror and I really like the size of it. It gives me a nice uh, field of view and I I think that's a plus. So while I was taking a look at the front we have over here the power button, the record button, the menu button, uh, the arrow to the right button and the arrow to the left uh, button and these are to navigate the menu inside the little LCD screen that's on the left side of the mirror and over here we have the microphone and it clearly says mic which is for microphone and let's take a look at the back of the mirror and I wanted to also note that this mirror is very very thin so that's kind of impressive uh, I think that's really nice and uh, it kind of does look really nice on your original meter mirror it doesn't look weird or bulky it actually looks like it kind of belongs there so that's that's a nice plus alright so looking at the back here we have this weird little plunger thing and that's actually to attach it to your existing mirror so you have these um, latches right here that you pull back and then you attach to your mirror and then this thing this little plunger thing also attaches to your mirror so you have uh, added support um, also right here here's a speaker for when you're navigating the menu um, and looking over here is actually the camera and this camera is rotatable so you can rotate it a little bit you can't rotate it all the way upside down but you can rotate it a little bit um, and then you can rotate it a little bit to the left and to the right up and down and things like that and it has one two three four five six uh, infrared LED lights which only work or which are only visible to your camera they are invisible to your eyes so it's not um, going to be shining out of your uh, car window so that's a good plus and looking over here we have the AV out we have the TF card which is a micro SD card and I recommend getting a uh, class 4 or better um, actually I don't recommend this I, it's needed that you need a, you need a uh, class 4 or better uh, micro SD card for this um, for this DVR I've tried it with a class 2 and it does not work it's too slow so I got myself a 16 gigabyte class 10 card and it works perfectly with this uh, DVR so let's put it back in and I'm having a little bit of trouble doing that alright there we go and then you have the USB which you can connect with the encoded car charger or you can connect it via to uh, the your computer which is also encoded so they included a uh, car charger and they also included a cable so that you can hook up to your computer and watch all your videos so that's pretty much it I like the mirror I think it looks nice and uh, actually I would if this was a like a standalone mirror I would actually be interested in buying one because it is a really good mirror in itself 
So there you go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the technical side of things and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the LCD display and see what's inside. Alright, so what's it look like when you turn on the display? Well, you have a little picture of a Porsche and then you get right into the camera view and it starts recording right away. So we're going to stop that recording by hitting the record button and I'm going to show you what the menu looks like. Now it's a little hard to see because it's a mirror and with the camera it doesn't really capture very well and in daylight uh, it's even harder to see so as you can see it is transparent so that's why it's a little hard to see but uh, I think we have enough visibility here to uh, navigate so let's go into the menu first and we have a few options we can go to resolution and we can choose the resolution so you have 1080 full HD, that's 1920 by 1080. You have also another 1080p option, which is 1440 by 1080, and that's like 1080p, but the 4 by 3 ratio. Uh, then we can go down and have 720p, but I don't know why it would pick the lower resolutions. That doesn't really make much sense. Um, and then we can go to WVGA, which is 848 by 480, which is not even HD, it's SD quality. So we're going to switch to... Um, oh, I didn't even see, even see these options. You can even go to VGA and QVGA, which is terrible. We're going to go back up to 1080p, which is you know the recommended resolution. Then we can go to loop recording, and we can you know select an option to do loop recording, and um, you can turn it off altogether, or you can pick the minutes that you want the camera to loop the video at. So I picked three minutes because I think if you're in a car accident, one minute is a little too small. So I think three minutes is a good, um, good time. And one, if you have one minute on, you're just gonna have a bunch of one minute files on there. So to save space or to save um, on, uh, to save on quarterness, or to be more organized we're gonna I pick I like to pick three minutes because it's um, it's just better that way so we're gonna pick three minutes and we're gonna go to EV and this lets you choose uh, what it looks like outside so like how bright it is um, and stuff like that so I like to keep it on zero because I found out that it's um, it looks very nice with the zero option. I don't really have any issues with the sun or anything like that. And then you can choose a motion detection. And you can either turn that off or on. I don't like it on because I don't want my camera to be turned on automatically whenever somebody walks by. And then you can have your audio on or off. Of course, leave it on. Uh, you can have a date stamp. You can have a G sensor, which I turned off. And you can also have, what is that? Oh, but the button sound. So these sounds that you hear right now, you can turn them off. Okay, so let's go into the second option. And um, the second option is you can set the date and time. Uh, you can have the power off. So you can, like, when you turn off your car, you can have it turn off in two minutes. Uh, the language. Uh, so let's see how much languages they have. They have English, French, Espanol, which is I think Spanish, um, Dutch, Italian, uh, some Chinese languages. I think the Russian was in there. And that's pretty much it. And then you have TV mode. Uh, so you choose PAL or NTSC. We have NTSC. We're going to choose that. Then you can have light frequency. So 50 hertz or 60 hertz. I have 60 hertz. Then you have a screensaver. So I don't want a screensaver, so we're going to turn that off. And then you can have a light switch or light set. And then um, you can. Uh, you can rotate the image. Nice. Then you get a format, the card. You can go back to all your default 
settings and you can check your firmware version. So that's basically it for the menu. Um, now we're going to take a look at some of the video samples. First we're going to take a look at uh, just a daily driving uh, video sample to see what the clarity is like. Then we're going to take a look at uh, me driving while I'm talking with my cousin. And so you're going to you know, get kind of uh, the audio, what the audio is like what, while you're driving. Um, and then we're going to go into, uh, I think it's a night mode. And we're going to see what uh, the night you know, footage is like because it does have those infrared night vision um, LEDs on the, on the camera and also we're going to take a look at the freeway footage to see uh, how much you know if anything rattles or um, stuff like that so thank you guys for watching and enjoy those clips thank you, bye. huh okay bye That's a $60 value. Just need a better music system in your car? How about a smartphone-ready Pioneer CD receiver on sale for just $99 installed? And during the Car Toys end of summer pass, save $30 on an AudioBox Prestige security system. Just $149 installed. Remember, at Car Toys, our expert installers are so good, we guarantee every installation for life. By the way, you can get it now with 0% interest for 18 months. Always see, see Car Toys for details. Why go to the Car Toys? Let me refresh your memory. Go now and thank me later. A better way to go. Ah, grilling. It's all about freshness. And of course, the great taste that only comes with great barbecue. Yeah, it's still pretty there, but I don't think there's going to be any more that yeah. people aren't eating or something. Right. Street, northwest. We're like always outboard. It's like the generals are just like bored. They're like, <sighs> yeah. We got all this cool crap. We America's we don't know how to spend it. America spends <laughs> ten times more as military yeah. than the next top ten nations combined. Hey, really? Yeah. See, they, they're just like bored in there. So well, it's like lots of research, you know, lots of research getting things done. High quality equipment, you know. How, do Russians use night vision goggles? No. But they're using Americans as like, like, like puppets. Yeah. Like just like. It's like the equipment costs more than the person now. <laughs> yeah, they're just using them as like experiments, you know. Yeah. Hmm. How does our equipment work? What sent a group of humans out there? Stupid rednecks. <laughs> And they get shot. Oh, that's how they get shot. That's how a person dies. Hmm, let's see now. A thousand more times.
Alright, so we're back from the footage, and I think you guys were a little surprised. I know I was. Um, so, while taking a look at the footage, I think that the quality of, of the footage itself, the clarity, I think it's very good. It's not the best, it could be better, but for a cheap uh, DVR like this one, it's actually really clear for the price. Um, I could see the license plates pretty well, I could see the street numbers um, pretty well, and I could see the uh, street lights pretty well, I could see people's faces pretty well. It wasn't, um, it wasn't too bad, really, uh, if you think about it. And that wasn't even in the day. That wasn't even in the sunlight, you know. That was just a regular Washington State uh, day. So, taking a look at the nighttime, it was um, it was good, but there was also a con. And the con is that it only records at about 15 frames per second, and that's not very good because uh, you're not going to be able to see um, a lot of action if, like, you're in an accident, for example. Uh, and you know in an accident a lot of things happen at once so if you get uh, crashed by a car the footage is probably not gonna see that because it's so it, it's gonna happen so fast and at 15 frames per second it's not gonna capture that very well so that's one con but if the accident is right in front of your eyes and if the car you know kind of like maybe uh, crashes right in front of you or the picture is very clear uh, where the 15 frames per second does have time to uh, adjust to uh, what just happened, then it's not too bad, and it does uh, trade off for a very good nighttime vision. I think um, the nighttime um, uh, clarity is actually ex exceptional because when I was actually driving at that time, it was about the same as my eyes were seeing, so the camera was almost as good as my eyes, so that's actually very impressive. Um, and Taking a look at the audio quality, I think the audio quality is actually really well. Um, I mean, <laughs> for to be honest, I didn't expect the audio to be really this good. I even have other samples that I heard myself where I was not driving and I was just talking to the camera itself. Um, and I think the quality was very on par to even regular video cameras. So I think. Uh, the audio is very good, the video is very good, so pretty much my conclusion to this camera is get it. So let's take a look a little bit uh, on the software side and we're going to see what it looks like when I hook it up to the computer. Alright, so let's take a look at what happens when I hook it up to the computer. So it opens up this little display and it tells me if I want mass storage or PC camera. Let me zoom in on that. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it either says mass storage or PC camera. Uh, pick mass storage because when I picked PC camera, it didn't show anything on the computer. It didn't recognize it. So let's pick uh, mass storage. That's how we're going to be able to get it into our files. So there we go. We have removable disk, flash storage. Let's move over to the computer. And we can open the video file directly from the computer and go to DCIM. And we have two video files right here. So one is four seconds, one is 41 seconds. And those are video files from when I was doing the review on the table. And the one thing I want to show you is if I put a video file inside the camera with a Class 10 card, let me show you how fast it is. So let me put it in there. So it's doing about 6 megabytes per second, 7 megabytes per second, which is not bad at all. And we're going to pause here and I'm going to show you what it's like when you get when you extract the video file onto your computer. All right, now let's see how fast it is when you extract the video file. 